My father had vascular dementia, which is the second most common dementia after Alzheimer's disease. So I have an understanding of the journey. I know what it's like to watch a loved one change and for him to struggle with the depression that my father sometimes had. I know what it's like for him to understand that something is happening and he doesn't really like it and he realises that there's nothing that can be done. He was quite an older man when he got dementia. He was well into his 80s. There was no sign of it as far as we could see. So it came as a shock to all of us because he was such a vital, busy man. But, you know, there are some funny moments when you're looking after someone with dementia and you, you, you laugh, you can't help but laugh because you get into funny situations. And it's important to laugh occasionally because, you know, it's, it's a tough journey. And when that person has gone and you think back over the times you spent together, it's those funny moments that you actually cherish out of the whole dementia journey. I've been passionate about being a dementia friend for years and years and years. I just know it can make such a difference to the life of someone with dementia and to the life of their carer as well, both of whom experience isolation when a diagnosis of dementia is made. So what it means is that you just take time out to consider, could that person have dementia? So you're in a queue at the checkout. There's a big delay going on. Someone's confused with what credit card they should be using. People get impatient and angry. Instead of getting impatient, just think, could it be dementia? And go up and say, can I help you? Because sometimes that's all it takes to straighten things out. And what it ultimately says to a person with dementia and their carer is that we respect you, we value you, and we want you to lead the best possible life. <music>